Hi everyone, this is Tammy, owner of Worthy, Worth It, and Priceless, and today's podcast is titled, Don't Worry About Them. So recently, um, I just wrote a book, it's called Love and Relationships, it is on Kindle, um, and there is a podcast about talking about the book, but um, either way, so I just recently did a video, um, like a video type commercial about the book, and um, I posted on Instagram like I usually do. But I was a little hesitant about posting it on Facebook. Facebook uh, really is a page where, you know, like my family and friends and and stuff like that, people actually know me or on. But a lot of my support actually comes from Instagram. So I have no problem posting on Instagram. But a lot of times, like sometimes uh, I don't really post uh, things on my personal uh, Facebook page and I don't know why it's just the whole point is sometimes you kind of get mixed reviews, things like that. And you you just never know what you're going to get or whatever. So at the end of the day, like I said, majority of my supporters or anything like that uh, for the brand is actually on um, Instagram. So I usually just share on there. So anyway, I was working with um, my coworker and I was like, yeah, I didn't even post on Facebook. And she was like, why not? You know what I mean? So I ended up posting on on um, on Facebook. And then after a while, oh, by the grace of God, I started to think. I was like, and it's not any shade towards anyone at all. But a lot of times we are um, worried about what other people might say or think when they haven't walked in our shoes. And so a lot of times, so just say for the, for instance, I may worry about what somebody might say about my video or, uh, even the point that I came out with a book and then I'm like, man, but the thing about it is some of the critics that you might have never wrote a book. They never wrote a song. If you're a songwriter, um, they never played an instrument. They never been a chef and things like that. And a lot of times we're worried about what other people say versus actually just going after our dreams and doing what we're supposed to do. Now, the funny part about this, because by the grace of God, God already gave me, um, you know, this message. So in the process of God giving me the message and me actually recording this podcast, something happened. So... Um, I'm very transparent, so I'll let you know. So anyway, I posted the video, like I stated, um, you know, got good feedback, but there was one person and I know exact, I know who the person is and all of that. I'm not going to go into detail who he is, but it was one person under, um, under the status and he put, hum like hmm and then put like a like an emoji like a thinking emoji and for like five quick seconds it was like dude like really like what is the purpose of the point of you putting that underneath my my status like you know what I mean and it for five seconds um that was like the reason why you know because that would be like the whole reason why You'll be like, man, that's why I didn't want to post in the first place because I knew somebody was going to try to do da da da. But God, I believe that in that moment, God was somewhat testing me. I said, don't worry about them. And I'm telling you guys, don't worry about them. And then I get somebody that basically doesn't give me the energy that I was either expecting or, or you even want for the most part. But even in that moment, by the grace of God, I thank God even for that moment because I was able to see it's still the same message. Don't worry about them. You can put whatever you want to put underneath my status or whatever, but it doesn't change the fact that God has actually worked through me and is is blessing. You know what I mean? So even with you, it doesn't matter if anybody puts anything underneath your status or they're they're not behind you 100% whatever you're doing don't worry about them don't worry about the crowds don't worry about anything if you're doing exactly what God has called you to do if God doesn't have anything against what you're doing then forget about everybody else 
we can't sit up there and always be focused on everybody else's opinion or what everybody else says or anything else like that because all that is is a distraction now granted like a little while afterwards just say uh somebody else actually um tweet retweeted you know or reposted what i did and was like you know let's go support her book this that and the third but you think about it if i would have really been focused on that one person that's sitting up there saying hmm and then putting a thinking emoji underneath the picture then i would have missed the blessing of somebody actually sharing um the information about the book so you even look in your own life if you worry about every hater or every person that that possibly doesn't go along you know what your your path or, or whatever god has has for you and they don't give you the response that, that you think that you're supposed to get if you quit right there you will miss a blessing so now it is the time not to get distracted don't worry about them god knows exactly what he's doing you're going to have people that are going to be haters you're going to have people who are not going to be on your side everybody isn't going to be a cheerleader there's going to be some times that you're going to have to pull yourself up and you're going to have to be like you know what no matter if anybody supports me or not i'm gonna have to go through this because i know that's what god has called me to do so continue to do that and be that and do not let anyone stop you not even yourself don't start doubting yourself because everybody isn't sharing or liking your post or this, that, and the third. It doesn't mean they don't see it. They see it. But at the end of the day, if God has called you to it, continue to go through it. Because there's victory on the other side. It may not feel good, but on the other side, once again, there is victory. There's light at the end of the tunnel. God has a plan for your life. But don't let nobody who want to sit up there and try to be funny in, in your comments stop you or distract you. You've come too far to give up right now. God didn't bring you this far for you to give up. Keep going. Make him even more mad. Let God's favor shine on your life. Don't be afraid to show God's favor. It's not being cocky or, or being like overconfident or anything like that. You have no control of how God favors you. How they always say favor ain't fair. But there's no reason for you to shrink in the back because somebody else may not approve. Or what somebody else might say. That's none of your business. And I don't mean that in a, in a mean way. You know what I mean. But it's none of your business to really sit up there and be worried about what other people might think about you. You're going further in the Lord. This is not where you're going to end up. You're you're in a season right now where God is moving you to where he has you to be. He's moving you to the person that he has allowed you to become. You don't have time to look back. You don't have time to try to pull somebody's hand. You don't have time to get off the throne. Because we are all kings and queens. So you don't have time to address every little thing. Stay where you're at. Stay on your journey. God has a plan for your life. It's not over for you. Keep going and don't worry about them. No matter what anyone has said about you in the past, no matter what anybody has ever thought about you, always know that you have worth, you have value, and God isn't done with you. So until next time, be encouraged, stay strong. Love you guys. Thank you for the support. Until next time, bye.